You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, and welcome to another fantastic episode of Ask a Drone You. My name is Paul. And my name is Rob, and as always, sitting here being super grateful for you and for the fact that you're sitting here or there with us for this episode 1048. Thank you. Um, yeah, just thank you. I, I, it's an interesting time of year. I would love to hear from more. You know what a good round of questions from people would be is hmm. things having to do with uh, how to work on your business during this uh, colder part of the year for most of us in the uh in the drone world there you um, go yeah so what comes to mind when you think about that as far as how you're going to spend your time over the next three four months we'd love to hear from you that's a great question i'm really really excited for today we're gonna be talking about interactive mapping how to do some stuff we've got some uh some new tools some new information might uh make this more affordable for a lot of people so uh anyway um today's show is brought to you by our amazing community in the drone you don't forget a drone you community has over 32 classes and a great location where you can get questions answered with class very important but anyway let's go ahead and hear today's question hey guys this is ryan from oklahoma I currently freelance with flying construction sites for progression video and photos. I saw your podcast on the Randy Travis house and have a client right now that's looking at doing uh, interior uh, photo progression uh, documentation as well. And I was just wondering what the workflow and the software required is to kind of link those together and create one seamless uh, deliverable to the client like you do with Randy Travis house. So if you could provide any insight, that'd be helpful. Thanks Ryan. Appreciate the question. Yeah, it, it's pretty cool. Um, and that can be used in, in a really, uh, broad range of applications, resorts, um, uh, convention centers. I mean, there's all kinds of applications that one could take that uh, technology out to. And so I'm very curious to hear how you're going to help people do it without such a high capex. Well, like the the other issue too is like, you know, this particular model, I'm trying to pull it up now on screen so everyone can see it who's watching via YouTube. The issue with this model is the fact that, you know, I use the Matterport camera and someone else's Matterport account to create the scan of this uh, particular home. Um, and the, the issue with that, the capex, Rob, is the fact that we're talking about a $5,000 camera. Yeah. That's a lot of money for one particular camera on a service that is really only sellable to a more high-end client. So, you know, how did we do this? Are there other services that do it? So, you know, I uploaded the 3D textured mesh of my particular model into Sketchfab. There is Google Poly, by the way, which you can utilize. It's actually extremely cheap um, to upload your models, but you don't have as much control. In addition, the size of the model models that you can upload is only 100 megs. So you're talking about a really, really, really small area. Now his question was, how do I integrate the interior model and the exterior model. Um, well, luckily, we have a really awesome drone you member who's kind of helped us out along the way, and her name is Isabella. I think it's Wang, Isabella Wang. And she actually taught me a lot about Matterport. When I utilized the Matterport camera and the application to scan the entire house, which I did record, by the way, so mm -hmm. I'm excited to get that oh. in our interactive mapping class. Don't expect to see that until quarter one of 2020, though. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, I scanned the whole house it I learned a lot in scanning this house and the way that I essentially took the Matterport model and merged it with the Sketchfab model was that I created annotations on the model at the front door and at one of the upper balconies so that way if I want to say huh I wonder what you know the art studio looks like in the balcony well what I did is I added in fact, I should probably show this on screen. I added this annotation right here, this number two. So if I click that and then click the link, now I created a bit.ly link because I wanted to see how many people were looking at the Sketchfab map versus actually looking inside of the house because I wanted to see what engagement looks like. 
But as you can see here, I'm now inside of the house itself. And all that happened was that I just opened up a new tab in the browser. So with this integration, this works pretty easy for me. The other thing too is that, you know, I actually paid someone, uh, a guy out of Canada to build a seamless integration. And then he like totally sped up the timeline on me. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa hold on, man, pump the brakes. <laughs> so I actually like, uh, I was like, oh, hold on here. Uh, I said, I thought the next move was in three months. And anyway, so long story short, it didn't actually, it didn't actually come to fruition. Uh, luckily, uh, he got paid for the work that he did. So I didn't feel bad about leaving the project there. But I will say that, you know, after a long thought about this, Rob, I was like, why not just use Sketchfab instead of building a program to load Sketchfab, to load the background map? Because really, at the end of the day, Sketchfab doesn't work on mobile. It's too much data mm. to work on mobile. So why would I build some online application if a majority of my users can't access it anyway? So that's why I just kept everything on Sketchfab. And whenever I do a presentation, I typically preload all the elements of the Sketchfab map well, in, in Sketchfab, different tabs. I'm sorry, Sketchfab does give you the option of taking, I mean, you've got embed code that you can use this on websites and various Correct. places to put it, right? So mm -hmm. it's actually real functional in that way. It is actually extremely functional in that manner. So there is a lot that you can do with this. Um, in addition, I've, you know, you can also, as you have the iframe on your website, you can do like an auto spin so that the map literally spins so people know it's a 360. Like there's a lot of integration that you can do on your website. As you know, um, you know, navigating around a Sketchfab map is a little bit different than navigating around a Pix4D map or, or if you're used to capture reality or uh, the photo scan um, application. It's a little bit different. But with that said, again, you know, I was talking about, I keep, I keep jumping around here, Rob. I really got to write down my train of thought so I don't keep jumping around. But what Isabel Wang really helped me out with is, and I talked about this, was on my exterior map in Sketchfab, I have look inside at the front door and then I have it on the back patio. With Isabella's help, I was able to actually utilize hotkeys in Matterport to start the model right here at the front door. Mm. So there's actually a lot of little tips and tricks that kind of go into this and that go into, you know, really doing it well. Um, so here's the kitchen. So if I'm, it, that looks like the, maybe the utility room, laundry room. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks. Maybe it's a second kitchen. I mean, it is a superstar's house, so. True. It is a second kitchen. I was like, wait a minute, where's the security cameras? And they're over here. You can actually see that I recorded this class because there's the camera. <laughs> see That's right. So oh, one now. of the things that we sort of led with was, um, I guess, more cost-effective ways of doing this kind of thing and not having to buy the Matterport. So glad what are those ways? So I'm glad you brought this up. So just so everyone knows, I haven't actually tried this yet. I've been told that it's doable. I've been told that it's plausible, but I don't know how easy it is to do yet. But uh, we did just purchase the Insta360 One X camera. And supposedly with the Matterport app on an iPad and that camera, we're supposed to be able to get the same quality or the same type of scans of interior buildings at a much cheaper rate. That camera's 500 bucks versus 5,000 for the Matterport camera. The only issue, Rob, is you still have to have a Matterport subscription to have them um, create the model in the back end and tie it into Sketchfab. So, but that could literally take the cost down $4,500, which could really make this a lot more manageable for people. Interesting. So I assume that's something that's uh, gonna be working on. Yeah, like right. I said, Q1 of 2020, we want to get into the interactive mapping class. We just, if, if everyone's wondering, you know, where are we with classes, um, we shot uh, a new comprehensive mapping class to really get more detail out there. Um, we've been working on a search and rescue class. We filmed the accident or the crash scene reconstruction class. Let's see, he is about to release this week Vic's new comprehensive aerial photography class. I know there's a lot of people excited about that. Mm -hmm. We've also got the solar. I was just going to say that the solar Sorry. inspection class <laughs> stole is your thunder. as well. Yeah, I mean, we've launched more classes this year than any other year. When I'm, I think that all is because of Howell. It's a great team. It is a great team. It's a great team. Hoel so, is phenomenal. We love Hoel. It really is a great team. In fact, I just got an idea, though. So I'm on that bombshell. Let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. Ryan, I hope we answered your question. Um, Follow-up questions are welcome if uh, we missed something or if you saw some holes in, in what you were actually hoping to have answered. Let us know. We want to hear back from you.
Yes, please do let us know. Um, and again, thank you for everyone who is watching and listening. Please leave us a review. Let, let us know what we can do better. Don't be afraid. So also, don't be afraid to leave a question. Go to askadroneu.com and upload that question. But that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. My name is Rob. This is Ask Drone You. Thank <laughs> you.